Right, we are unboxing the high boxing hailstorm. We got the orange. Just want to make sure I can see it. Looks like it comes in green, whoops, and black as well. There's the green. There's all the different color variations. The black one. This is ready to run right out of the box, so I'm super excited about this. Uh, let's just get into it. It's always like Christmas when one of these come in the mail. sound effect. This instruction manual, it actually looks like it's improved over what the ratchet has. This is still the nice quality paper, same paper, but it looks like it's in a few different languages now this time. It looks like French, English, Spanish. Um, it's in black and white. So I, the other one was in color, but I still love the fact that it's a very detailed manual. Let's see, we're going to look for the number one thing. Make sure it's hobby grade here. Bam! The parts list. Got to have that. Got to make sure that you can basically build this car without having to buy it from scratch. And this is where you go to make sure that you can do that. And another thing about high boxing is they make themselves accessible through shipping where you can actually get parts within two to three days. So that's another really great thing. This manual looks pretty detailed. I'm gonna have to go through this a little bit later. Um, but yeah, this looks great. Let's see what else we got here. The car. Yeah, the car. Dang it. but perhaps it's just my excitement. I already know what I'm getting out of the box, but John, he has no idea. I'm gonna put him up on game today. We'll see. The remote, very similar to the other high boxing cars. It's gonna give you the normal and fast speeds. That's your uh, reverse and normal steering. Steering trim, same, basically the same. My same gripe with this, doesn't stand up. Um, but if we could get that, a more balanced remote to stand up, uh, that, that I'd love. But I've had, as you'll see in my re uh, review with the ratchet as well, Really great success just using this ready to run remote right out of the box. A little fidgety, but still very easy to control, very easy to maintain. Um, two AA batteries going here in the bottom. Get that open. Bam. Two AA's. We'll get that installed here pretty quick. Make sure we get you a test drive. Accessory bag. Car's trying to get rolling already on me. Okay, we've got a fin for the Truggy. Got a couple of screws and the screwdriver. This is pretty traditional um, equipment in any uh, ready to run car. You get a screwdriver that actually fits, that has the same uh, depth and pitch for the screws that you're gonna be working with predominantly. So that's actually really good. Charger. I love saying it that way, I don't know why. But this is your charger, USB charger. Uh, same thing with the Lion batteries. 
This is going to come with a Lion battery charger, which is a pretty standard charge. If you're going to race, I certainly would recommend considering the Dean's plug, just so it's more universal to the batteries out there. We'll talk about that later with batteries and racing. But these are definitely cars that you can take to the track and race. Uh, it comes with extra hood clips in there, it looks like, or hood pins. Also, great deal. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. We got lights. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. That's that's something I did not know. That's I'm pretty sure you plug this into the uh ESC. And we're gonna be able to light this truck up and do some night driving. I probably shouldn't be as excited as I am about this, but I'm just... <laughs> this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. This is what I, this is what it's all about. Having upgrades, upgrading your car, the hobby grade. This is just another indication of the quality that I'm expecting and anticipating when we actually look at this truck. Is that it's already coming with accessories to upgrade the vehicle right out of the box uh, to give you lights, to give you more dynamic driving at night, and more options to drive the vehicle. That's awesome. Cut these off here real quick. cut these tags off because we don't need a warning all right sorry for the background noise that's John over there he's a uh, participating in my awesomeness right now this is it bam 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 so right off the bat, I'm, I'm digging the color scheme. I love the splash here on the body. That's pretty cool. The cooling fans, I love that. It's a standard, uh, I don't even know what this material is called, but this is what all bodies are basically made out of, um, which actually protects a lot. You'd be surprised how much these things do for the car. But. You can see how flexible it is, so it's going to take some absorption. I like that already. It's not fragile or cracking or anything like that. Tires, nice and beefy. See, this is this is different. I like this already better than the um, Ratchet, just because it's a wider base tire. It's going to give you more stability when you're turning. It's not going to fishtail or spin out as much. It's still an off-road tire, so you're definitely going to want to use this. It's not ideal for pavement. It's going to rub it down pretty quick. But based on how straight this car drive, we'll see if it's a good pavement car or if it's just a bashing car. But that's to be determined on the test drive. What's this say here? It looks like there's a film on here you're supposed to rip off um, before you put the decals on it to race it. So it's, it's really telling you right away that this is something that's ready to run and race right out of the box. I just kind of want to get a comparison here. This is the Ratchet. As you can see, it's still 18 scale. I don't know how good I'm doing this or not, but let's just hope. We can look at the chassis there. That's obviously what's going to identify the different um, classes of the vehicle. But these are both four-wheel drive. It looks like the chassis is the same. It's just the, the rise and the lift on the vehicle. The tires obviously are gonna make a huge difference. But like I said, having high boxing 18 scale, you're gonna have interchangeable parts on all their vehicles, which is one of the best things also. So if you own more than one, you can always just mix and match and build any car or do what we like to do and make Frankenstein cars where we just mix and match parts to just get performance out of the vehicles. Um, let's just take a look off. We're going to pull these pins off real quick. 
Oh, there's four on this one. See, I'm used to the ratchet where it's only got two and it flips up. But this is your traditional style top. It's got the four pins on it. Give you a look at that. This is definitely going to get some tape in it if we're going to race it. Just to kind of give you a racing tip. <clears throat> Reinforce these bodies and they'll last a lot longer by putting tape. Uh, my buddy uses, I think, Flex Seal or some sort of bonding spray can adhesive in there. And it really protects and makes these last a lot longer. Because when you're racing, as you'll see in many videos and in uh, future videos with this, your body's going to take a lot of bumps, bruises, and bangs. And your car's going to take a lot of, if it ain't rubbing, it ain't racing. We'll just put it like that. It's going to take a lot of that. Rubbing and racing. So that's the body. Ooh. Ooh, looky, looky. Look at the wires, all nice, tucked and neat. This looks race ready, I'm telling you. Nothing's gonna bind, nothing's gonna catch. There's your 650 milliamp Lion battery in here. Let me go ahead and take this out. Now that they have, like, before I do something dangerous here. So basically it's going to come with this charger um, and it, it says in the instructions it takes about two and a half hours to charge but it is a hobby grade battery so you can use your hobby grade chargers and juice this battery and get it charged based on the 650 amp milliamp 650 milliamp reading excuse me okay center drive shafts metal love that wait what was that oh body spacer that protects your body so when your body takes uh, force up and down it doesn't crack and go straight down this uh, body pillar post anyway tires I don't know if you can hear that let's see nice nice and air good cushion in there there's also a nice foam in there as well so that feels really good. These tires are better. Even with the high boxing previous car that I have, the balance on the tires is really well. The glue holds up really well, even driving in an oval surface, which puts a lot of force on your cars and a lot of G's on the glue and the outside of the tires. So these look really, really great. And actually the, the, the glue bead looks very nice and clean. Excited about that. The tread looks, it's soft. It's, it's very soft. So yeah, I'm digging the tread. Like you can just see me squeezing the tire here. So the pneumatic and the flexibility of the tire, it's definitely going to give you off-road ability with this car. Let's see. On off switch has changed. This is right up here. Looks like this is a Oh, push button as well. Okay. So everything's push button. You're going to just reach up under the plastic once it's on there. Basically like this and turn it on without having to remove the clip. So that's actually convenient and nice. Oh, I like that. Shocks. Those are going to be spring-loaded shocks. So you're going to balance those shocks as well uh, by preloading them. Uh, looks like they're the same size on the front and the back. Let's see if you can see that. There's the front ones. There's the back ones. No, these front ones actually look a little shorter. So these are two different size shocks on the front and the back, if you can see that. And there's the back. So that's definitely gonna be something you're gonna be able to upgrade. I've seen that on many different 18 scale cars, buggy style cars where they put the two different size shocks on it. So this basically has a wider chassis than the sand rail buggy. So it's gonna be wider this way. Um, same length. But I'm digging this, yeah. Came with the motor cooler. Love that, because as you'll see in a previous video, I, I, there's certainly something I had to say about that. Uh, water resistant. 
And basically, I'm going to go with this is almost waterproof, but this is a water resistant ESC and radio combo. Certainly hobby grade. Differentials, those are plastic. Looks like those are plastic gears, plastic CVs. They're not adjustable. That's going to be one thing that's... Okay, if you're going to race the car, which is definitely what we want to show out of these vehicles, is that you can get a race quality vehicle for under $100. This was actually under $80, so I'm even more excited about the fact of that. But one of the things you can do, and these, like I said, with high boxing, you're going to have a hobby grade car that you can get parts in the mail within one to two days. So you're going to get options to upgrade your tie rods and your, I don't even remember what these are called, but we're going to call them steering rods for now. Uh, so that you can adjust that and adjust your camber and adjust your toe. Um, this is your camber. This is your toe. So you can adjust those for the surface and the type of track you're racing. So if you wanted to race oval, you'd want more of a camber in. If you wanted to race off-road, you'd want more of a neutral stance. And that's something you want to balance your car to get better speed out of the track with, as well as balancing the type of tire and tread also. Um, but how quickly I get off subject. Here's where the lights go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna light this thing up. You know, I'm really digging this. Like, I love the, the weight of it. It's super light. So I love the weight of it. Let me see something here real quick. <laughs> yeah. This thing's jump ready. So... Basically, it's going to be an on-road, off-road car. It, based on how you set it up, you can actually... I don't know if you can really see it, but there's a couple different pins here where you can widen it to get it lower, or if you bring it into the closer pin, that stands it up to give you more chassis clearance so you can... Really, you can almost... I'd want to say slow crawl with this. You're obviously, it's not a crawler. It's not meant for that, obviously, but you can definitely get over some terrain with this and I'm excited to go on different types of uh, rocky terrain with this as well. Um, but overall, <laughs> if this goes 15 miles an hour, it's a competitive car. Like, I love it. Let me... The rebound on the shocks. Look at that. Like, it's not even bottoming. Look how hard I'm pushing. Actually, I don't even, is it bottoming? It can't even bottom out. Like, what? What? We might jump this over my garage. John's getting excited, too. He just can't wait to see it now. Okay. Let me get this back together here. Another thing you got to get those when you're working with 18 scale cars there's these little clip upgrades that you can get to make this so much easier to put these in and out and see it I'm not gonna say I'm old but seeing this stuff You wouldn't know it though. Bam! Bam! Ooh! John. I don't even want John to drive this car because he's. He, damn it! He's just going to beat me with it, but. Uh, it's just so beautiful. I love it. All right. I bought some Hailstorm. Under $80. I'm going to put the fin on. Get this thing ready to race. Um, but if you guys want to hold on, I just want to go over everything real quick again. 650 milliamp Lion battery. 
You obviously get the truck ready to run right out the box. Love it, four wheel drive, metal, uh, main drive, fin with screws. Nice, about to light this thing up. Ooh, we want you coupons. Look at that, they're already advertising upgrade parts. Holy cow, I didn't even see that. Metal CVDs, uh, oil filled metal cap shocks, adjustable shocks. Looks like there's screw shocks on there. See what I'm talking about? Like, see what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What's this? Thank you card. I wanna thank you. This is fun. Stickers. The hailstorm. This car's number 17. Oh, you get to put some graphics on there too. Some headlights. Yeah. I'm digging that. That's a little different. I like that. All right. One last look. The hailstorm. High boxing. 18 scale. Truggy. Check it out.